What's that? Oh, right. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. So why don't the machines, or the aliens who created them, attack the bunker directly? They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? They all have white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. Hello. Before we begin, there's something you must understand. We are not your enemies. To be! We can't trust anything the machines say. I understand that you see us as the enemy, but... Well, anyway. My name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Those who reside here desire nothing more than to live a peaceful existence. Look around for yourself. You'll see that it's true. We can get into the city ruins if we move that box. Operator 60 to 2B? Time for your regularly scheduled contact. 2B here. What's wrong? I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. I don't think I can stand spending one more day in this bunker. You leaving would be bad for me. It would affect mission efficiency. Uh, are you saying you need me to be? All Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... And that's all. Closing this channel.
you think? <clears throat> he just started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's... technically accurate. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. someone is to get to know them. Isn't that right? Fair enough. What's that noise? Tubi, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. And it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All your high units should proceed and engage immediately. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go.
2B, command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. Probably shouldn't get near that guy's feet. Yeah, no. Let's find another route. Flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. those flight units while we can. Be careful. The skies are packed with anti-air weapons. Make sure to approach at low altitude. Copy that. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. What the... 
Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine lifeforms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used Command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? What is this? Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a... That's a weird-looking enemy. is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. 